So we're going back to one of my absolute firm teenager favorites. This used to be my dish every week. Use up all the veg that you've got left in your fridge. This is my super simple chicken chow mein. So chicken chow mein, this takes me right back to my teens when I go out and have a few beers on a Friday night and then we'd always do the walk back past the Chinese and I get myself my chicken chow mein. It's one of those firm classics. Right, pan of water. So using your zip tap, gonna get some boiling water. I'm just gonna get that up to heat. While that's bubbling away, we've got lots of different ingredients to add to a pan, but they're all fairly simple. So little dish and then into this, we're gonna add basic ingredients. We have got over here our main one which is two large tablespoons of oyster sauce. We have got a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. We've got a tablespoon of honey and over here we've got a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. You can use Chinese cooking wine Works exactly the same, if not a shot of sherry will work just the same. Okay, we've got two cloves of crushed garlic, two teaspoons of corn flour, a teaspoon of white pepper, and we've got a teaspoon of ginger. Give that a really good mix round. And that is your wet ingredients done. So, to one side, we've got two chicken breasts here. We're gonna take off any of our excess fat from the outside, any gnarly bits that you don't want. The chow mein, the classic chow mein as far as I'm concerned, is just use up anything that you have veg-wise that you've got left in your fridge. Sugar snap peas, bok choy, green beans, any of those things work really well with this dish. Right, so your chicken's nice and clean. We're just gonna cut them into nice, thin little slivers, little bite-sized pieces, and all of that can go straight into your sauce just for a little bit of marinating. Right, clear down. Second board, we have got a couple of carrots. It will scrape with a knife just to take off any excess skin. And then we are simply gonna cut these down the center. You just wanna chop these into really nice little slithers. We've got some spring onion over here. Just gonna take our ends off. And we can just cut these at a slight angle. So three spring onions, a couple of carrots. We've got some red chili pepper here and whatever cabbage leaf that you want to use. I'm going to use some Napa cabbage. Roll that over, and then we just want these into nice little slithers. That's your prep work done. So we've got carrot, spring onion, chili pepper, and whatever cabbage you want to use. As I say, use bok choy, whatever one you use. Any sort of greens works really well with this. We've got our beautiful bean sprouts. Second pan, we're going to get this one nice and hot. So the whole idea of this type of recipe is to cook it as quickly as possible at a high heat. So with this pan, we want that really, really nice and toasty. We're going to cook the chicken for about three to four minutes, but we want to retain the crunch in the vegetables. So that's only going to go in for the last minute. So I'm going to add a little bit of our sesame oil to the pan and then in with our chicken. And then you're gonna add just a splash of water to that. Adding just that little bit of water stops everything sticking to the pan and the caramelization happening. You want to have this lovely sort of soft sheen through it and then the chicken almost poaches rather than going all tough and leathery. So that's what you're looking for. That's been in there, what, four to five minutes max. That is pretty much done. So with this, we're gonna add our noodles straight to our pan. Give that a last mix round. And now we can incorporate some of our vegetables. Remember, we want to have that lovely crunch from here. So we're gonna add our chili and our spring onion first of all. Our carrot and spring onion. We want bite on these vegetables. I don't wanna overcook any of this. That's gonna take about one minute to cook through. We've got our beautiful bean sprouts. And you've got that instant, that, that lovely smell going through here. And then finally, gonna add a little bit more of our sauce just over the top. Gonna to add our cabbage. Right, our noodles are done, so off with the heat. And these can go straight in. Good stir around. 
and making sure all those flavours go through those noodles. And that is my super simple chicken chow mein. I'm just gonna finish that off with a little bit of hot sauce, just because I like that. This is totally optional, by the way. And then finally, a good pinch of my sesame seeds. And that is my super simple chicken chow mein. See, I know traditionally you're not supposed to have a lot of heat in there, but that little bit of chili just really balances that whole dish out. Super easy, play about with your ingredients and get recreating this one. These type of dishes seem to go down really well on the channel, which I love doing. If you want more of this type of dish, comment down below. Please subscribe to the channel, and if, obviously, if you do recreate this one, hashtag me as Hayes Kitchen as always, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.